Individuals may be convicted for the crime of attempt when they try but fail to commit a crime. But what if an individual intentionally begins the process of committing a crime and the victim convinces him to stop? The Mississippi Supreme Court considered how this impacted a defendant's guilt in Ross v. Mississippi. On September 16, 1987, Sammy Joe Ross knocked on the door of Dorothy Henley's house. When Henley answered, Ross asked for directions before forcing his way inside by pointing a gun at Henley. He shoved Henley onto her couch and ordered her to remove her clothes. When Ross threatened to kill her, Henley pleaded with him, telling him she had a seven-year-old daughter who would be arriving home soon. Ross then appeared to change his mind, telling Henley he'd never harm a woman with a young child and told her to walk outside and keep her back to the road until he left. Henley did as she was told, and Ross fled but was subsequently apprehended. He was later prosecuted for attempted rape, convicted, and sentenced to 10 years imprisonment. The trial court denied Ross's motion for a judgment notwithstanding the verdict. Ross appealed and raised the defense of abandonment, arguing that he made the voluntary decision to abort his plan to rape Henley. 